all this is danielle and you are watching danielle craft studio where every dollar counts thank you so much for joining me today and if you are new please comment down below that you are new so i can properly welcome you to my channel make make sure you share this video you like it and you subscribe and comment down below what you did today while watching this video because i'm always interested and i always want to know so happy friday everybody for me i don't work saturday but i work sunday monday so i am off friday saturday which i'm happy about and i got a lot of things i gotta do friday and saturday so let's go ahead and count our money for today we have 20 30 45 55 60 dollars we're stuffing today let me prop this up over here make sure y'all can still see it um let's see okay so i have again <laughs> a quite a few things to talk to y'all about don't forget that we are still in Listmas, so check out my Etsy shop to see the challenge I uploaded for today of Listmas. I believe it's, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure which one I uploaded today, but I have so many challenges that I need to upload, so. Um, can you see the money? Yes, you can. Let's get right into it. I hope you had an amazing Wednesday and an amazing Thursday. And comment down below what you're doing while watching because I'm always interested. Subscriptions is going to get $5. So, let's get the $5. 5, 10, 15 for subscriptions. Cosmo Kramer is my little Yorkie. He is going to be getting, how much? $10. Okay. I need to buy him some food soon. So we have 10 20 35 45 $55 for him. That's good because his food costs like $25. So Mr. Pickles is my cat's name. I named him after Puss in Boots, the new movie called The Last Wish. Um, he was taken into a shelter, like adopted foster care shelter type thing. And the lady who took Puss in Boots in named him Pickles. And so I named my cat Mr. Pickles. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Also, I love, love, love Pickles and I love my cat. So I was like, this is perfect. So did I add the $10? No. No. Let's add the $10. We have 10, 20, 30, 45, 55 for Mr. Pickles. They're even. Groceries. So, groceries. Let me see. Yeah, I had to look because I had money in here that I wasn't supposed to have in here. So, I had to take it out because um, I already spent it. We are going to put $20 in groceries. Here we go. So, at work, I don't really say what I do um, on my channel. Sometimes if people ask in the comments, I'll respond to it. But I don't really mention or say, like, what I do. I work in customer service, um, but I don't say where I work because I'm not too comfortable saying it. Like, <laughs> like I don't want everybody to know. Like, I'm just not too comfortable with mentioning exactly where I work. Because it'd be very easy to figure out what company I work for. So, um, what I will say though, something so, so exciting happened on Sunday. When I worked on Sunday, something extremely exciting happened. So, um, we normally open the doors at a certain time, right? Well, it was like 30 minutes before that time and people were coming in and I was like, what's going on? Like... I don't understand and they were being escorted by um security and so i looked and i saw oh my gosh i saw randy okay randy from say yes to the dress do you know him like from that show i love that show i've watched it ever since i was little 
I love that show. And I saw him and I was like, oh my God, that's him. There's no way that's him. Then he came up to me and I needed to see his identification because that's like the process. And so I asked for his identification. He gives it to me and I see his name and I'm like, oh my God, it's him. It's him. And I wanted to tell him like, oh my gosh, I love Say Yes to the Dress. Like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you. But I was like, I better stay professional. I need to stay professional. And I was like, okay, um, I'm going to go get blah, blah, blah. And I gave it to him and he was like, thank you so much. And I said, you're welcome. Have a great day. And he said, you too. And he walks away and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I tell my coworkers and they're like, no way. And I said, yes, I can't believe it. So where I work, I've seen famous people, but I didn't know them. Like people had to tell me where they were from and I was like, oh, I've never seen that or I've never, I don't know who that is or I don't know what they do. But him, oh my gosh, I knew exactly who he was as soon as I saw him. And so I was like, this is my first famous person that I've seen at my job. So it was absolutely the coolest thing ever. That was the, I think the only famous person I've ever met in my entire life. Oh my God, it was so exciting. So if you've ever met a famous person, leave it down in the comments and let me know who it was, when it was, how you met them. Like, let me know because that was my first famous person I've met and it was absolutely amazing. So cool. So anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, let's see. This $5 is going to go towards hygiene. So yeah, that was really, really cool. Super cool. <laughs> So we have five, 10, 11, $12 in hygiene. So that's pretty good. And now we're gonna go on to gifts. We're gonna put some money into gifts. Let me close this up. Yeah, that was like awesome. It was the highlight of my day. My day went by so good after that. Even the customers who were a little bit, you know, mad, irritated, all that kind of stuff. I was like, Psh, you cannot dim my light today because I saw Randy. I talked to Randy. Like, <laughs> it was amazing. Um, so that just made my entire, entire day. Gifts, we are going to be adding $5. So we have 5 10 15 25 35 40 40 $40 in gifts, which is really, really good. And... Oh, the uh, packages, the Operation Santa packages, I finally shipped them out on Tuesday. So Tuesday of this week, I shipped out the packages. It was kind of easy when I went in there. The postal service worker, she was like confused. She was like, I don't know what this is. Like, what are you doing? And so I showed her the little instruction like paper that they told me to print out and I gave it to her and then she was able to do it and it ended up costing me $33 to ship two packages that were pretty big. So I made sure when I was shopping for the kids because I had three girls, um, I made sure to check the weight on everything. If something was heavy, I was like, I'm not getting that. I'm getting everything that's really lightweight or the lightest weight that I can find in that item. So each package was like um, five pounds and then another one was six pounds. So I ended up paying sixteen sixty five for each uh, package, which ended up being like 33 something. So I was very pleased with that because I was shipping to somebody in Texas and I was scared it was going to be like $30 for each package, but it wasn't. So I was very, very happy about that. So... That is out, that is done. They're gonna receive their packages and hopefully they like them and they enjoy them and all that good stuff. So, um, I can't wait to do it next year. Hopefully I'll be able to shop for just one person so then I don't have three kids I'm shopping for, like a whole family, but it'll be fun either way. And in fun. Fun is empty, and you might be like, why is it empty? You had money in there last time. Well, if you didn't watch Wednesday's video, now I know you didn't watch it because I talk about it in there. Um, I enjoyed the Christmas Carol play, 
so much so that I want to go back again tomorrow on Saturday. I'm going to be going to the Nutcracker Ballet. So they're going to have a Nutcracker Ballet. I've never seen it. Um, when I was little, I used to be in dance, and so I used to do ballet, and we did, like, a sugar plum fairy thing, um, but I've never seen the actual Nutcracker, so I'm very excited for tomorrow, very excited, and I spent the money that I had left over in here from the play to go ahead and buy tickets to go to the Nutcracker, so I'm adding five dollars to it because I'm gonna have to pay for parking, um, it's like $10, I think, or $5 or something like that to park in a certain parking lot that's close to the, um, ballet. So I don't feel like walking six blocks to get to it because it's going to be very busy. Um, so I'm going to put this money in here for the parking. And then self-care is empty and luxury is empty because I told y'all I bought a happy planner and all of like some accessories and stuff like that and i also bought stuff on cyber monday from bath and body works so i emptied out self-care and luxury to purchase those items so that's why those are empty um what else what else what else i also bought a book recently which is very exciting it is called christmas presents and it's a suspenseful christmas themed book where it's about like a serial killer and a podcaster and it's all set within like six days before Christmas and all that kind of stuff which I thought was amazing I was like oh my gosh I'm not really into like the Hallmark love story movies and they had a bunch of like those kind of books for Christmas and they're like love on the wreath of the door for Christmas holly jolly and love or whatever the books were named and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to read those. I'm not really into, like, love stories very much. And so I found a suspense thriller, which are the books I love to read, section that was themed Christmas. And I was like, this is perfect. So I did buy that. It was like $16. So I took that out of my book envelope. And I'm super excited to start reading it. So that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching make sure you comment down if you ever met a famous person and where'd you meet them when you meet them all that down below because i would be interested and let's see go ahead and comment down below a microphone emoji so i know you watch the entire video. And if you can't find a microphone emoji, comment down below a dress emoji, okay? Because say yes to the dress, okay? Comment down below a dress emoji so I know you watched the entire video all the way through. And I really thank you for that. It means everything. And don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, do all the things, share my video, tag me in your videos if you use my challenges, so I can watch your videos. Um, I watch a few of your videos already. Um, a lot of you guys do tag me in your videos on YouTube. And I do watch them. I don't comment a lot. Because when I'm watching the videos, I'm normally doing other things. And so when the video ends, I just like it. But I don't comment. But in the new year, I'm going to like have a resolution of comment on people's videos that I watch. Because it's always nice to leave a comment, you know? It's always nice to to read a comment when you have a YouTube channel and somebody leaves a comment and takes their time. That's why I appreciate y'all so, so much when y'all comment down below. It really means a lot to me. So I need to start doing that myself. Like, hypocrite over here. Like, come on. You need to comment on people's videos. So, in T way, let me make sure that I talked about everything. I sent out the packages. Um, I told y'all the money that I spent. I told y'all about the Nutcracker Ballet. Um, don't forget my Etsy shop. It's linked down in the description box below. Listmas is still going on. So go over there and follow my shop and favorite all the new challenges because it really helps me out. I think that is everything for me today. Um, I will see all of you on Monday. I hope you have an amazing, safe weekend and blessings to everybody. Goodbye.